today I'd like to talk to you about my Raspberry Pi. Now the Raspberry Pi is an inexpensive, it's a low cost computer, a very small board that you can use uh, um, for various things. Uh, people um, run emulators on it they, for of old hardware. They can um, use it as a media center. Uh, and you can, people make robots and all sorts, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, you can run a, a VPN server on it. You can, the possibilities are limitless. It's basically, it's a low power computer uh, that can be designated to do something. So I'll just show you it up close here. So this is the box I got it. Now the box costs extra. So the truth about the Raspberry Pi, when they say it's uh, a $35 computer, uh, and this is a Raspberry Pi 3. I don't know if you can see that on the board there. There's a little logo of the Raspberry Pi. Um, it has four USB ports, a network uh, adapter, and it has a, this is the power supply here, this is a USB plug here. It has an HDMI output and an AV output where you can get like an AV, it looks like a headphone jack with three proms and you can plug that into a TV. I have one of those uh, because the main reason for this is I wanted to play MP4 video clips and then transfer it to just an analog output and run it through my UHF modulator as just a, a designated closed circuit channel. And over on this side, I'm just gonna put the top back on this case. Cases do cost extra, so as I said, it was $35 for the board. Now the extra cost to it, you'll have to get an SD card um, I got one here. Now the SD card just sort of pops in here like this. Let me pull that out. And just a micro, I don't know if it's in focus here, it doesn't really matter. This is a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Um, and uh, you can, now you can choose the operating system. I'll show you later on in, uh, how to do that. Um, where you just install uh, the image off of which you download off the internet, which will be the operating system. So the operating system runs off this. This will not boot up unless you have a FAT32, I think is what it has to be. At least that's what I had to get to do this. I had it uh, formatted to something different and it wouldn't work. And uh, the, the, these will light up. I think if they're both red, it won't work. It's basically the same as if you have it plugged in and then you don't have the SD card in sometimes it won't read it and then so that's the one thing I found annoying about this is when it boots up it, and you don't have the proper um, uh, formatted uh, SD card it will do nothing thing to use it now what I use this for my main purpose for this Raspberry Pi is to have it as a uh, media center so I run a program called it's actually pretty much like an operating system called open elect which is a full operating system that's pretty much just uh, Kodi XBMC on it. And I found for, for doing video, uh, the analog output, it will also work with the HDMI. So if you want HD, I have tried putting a Ubuntu Mate on this. Now, the Raspberry Pi 3, it does tell that it is a, a quad core processor, but I still find even compared, it runs fairly slow, like I find when I run Ubuntu Mate on, on this, it does tend to run it slow. And also, a program I like to use, VLC. Now they fixed that, they've, um, uh, it would crash all the time when I tried to run VLC. That was my original intent to use this for. Instead of using Kodi, I could just run VLC and then just have it loop my video uh, folder playlist over and over again. And then this would be, um, uh, and then I just use Ubuntu Mate outputting analog. But I found that wasn't working too great for the purpose. I found I was able to do that better with Kodi. So I'm just going to put the HDMI port in here. I don't have the power supply. Another thing I'd like to talk about is the power supply, which I've run into problems with. I actually do have an actual power supply. I think this thing cost me at least over $20. So instead of like a, I, I went, I first started just using a cheap, um, an old Blackberry charger. But what I quickly found was the power, it wasn't putting enough power. So I kept getting an open elect. I get this little dot on the screen indicating that it wasn't working properly. So for best results, get yourself a good power supply. 
So, you're, when you originally got $35 computer, yeah, you're gonna, there's actually the extra cost of that, an HDMI cable if you don't have that, an SD card, and get a good SD card. Don't get a cheapy one, because you're gonna be running an operating system off of that, and you want a good OS. Now this, I've done a video on this before. This is my Magica. Instead of a mouse, I just use this Air Mouse, and it works pretty good with, uh, with Cody. So I just stick that in there. And my preference is I have this uh, extra keyboard, just a USB keyboard I have plugged in there. Now normally I'd have like a, a 16 gigabyte um, SD card, which I'll have in there. Now as I said again, you can't, unfortunately, from what I've uh, been trying with this, you can't run your operating system off an SD card or off a USB stick, but yeah, you have to run it off of this. Which I was getting a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that I'd be able to just plug a thumb drive into it. TV's kicking in. Oh, that's the, the clear TV TV antenna. It's just not working the greatest today. So I'm going to plug this in here. Now, you can see that the uh, dot is yellow. That's what you want to see. Now, if you see it both red, that's indicating that it's not booting up. And I'm booting up Open Elect. That's what I have on this system right now for the Raspberry Pi. And I'll just take a few seconds here to load. There it goes. So open the lights up. I like the YouTube add on because I can just have it on a regular TV and have it on there. So for example, just type that in there. Just go to a Mr. Rogers, put on some Mr. Rogers episodes and it'll just uh, pull up the video. And I'll show basically the YouTube thumbnail will come up. And I'll just show you a little bit of the air mouse here. So I have the air mouse here. It's kind of go, gonna go all over the place there. So it, it kind of works like a Wii remote. I've done a review on this before, but I like this for the Raspberry Pi because it's just something you can hold in your hand and uh, and uh, use it. And then this will work in Linux, Windows, uh, Apple products. It's basically just a mouse that's USB and wireless. And uh, yeah, I've done a review on that in the previous video. Uh, so that you can basically get YouTube on a TV. Now, <clears throat> One problem I have had, because you can't get Netflix to work on this. Um, some people, have, there was a build and then it didn't work. And I don't know if there is one that uh, actually has Netflix uh, to work. You can let me know in the comments. But yeah, it'd be cool if there was a Netflix uh, 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 app. Now, unfortunately, the better way, of the more easier way I found of doing that, if you just want like a little TV box, and you just want Netflix, YouTube, you know, and you don't have a smart TV, just get an Android box, cheap Android box. It'll it'll probably do the trick for you. Channels. And so it's gonna throw up all the channels I have here. Now there's not gonna be no uh, EPG information. And this is just a list that I have with all my satellite channels. So I can get this. So it's kind of neat because I, with the Raspberry Pi, I can send a video from my other room and into no, this room. No, That's right, mister. I got the, the little the little uh, happy satellite nerd uh, with me here talking to me. So anyway. <laughs>